using the Ontario School Screening Tool. So here I am on the COVID-19 School Screener page. The address is here, covid-19.ontario.ca forward slash school hyphen screening forward slash. Once I'm here, I'm going to scroll down and look here. Now, very important, parents can take this on behalf of a child or guardians can take this on behalf of their child, but you must stay home if you have COVID-19 symptoms or any symptoms of illness, including those that are not listed on this screening tool. So that's important to note. Even if you have something like pink eye that doesn't show up on the school screening, but it is a type of illness, please do not come to school until your symptoms are, are uh, getting better for at least 24 hours, or in the case of something to do with your stomach, gastrointestinal issues, nausea, vomiting, etc., diarrhea, that would be 48 hours. Your symptoms have to have been getting better for 48 hours before you come back to school. Right now, you can download the school screening in English and French in a PDF format. They are hoping to add some other languages, but at this time, those languages are not available. I'll click on this blue screening button now. Now it will ask me, are you fully vaccinated against COVID-19 or aged 11 or younger? So again, if you're answering this on behalf of a child, it's whether they are fully vaccinated. In the case of a student, a young student who is aged 11 or younger, um, you'll say yes. Do any of the following international travel scenarios apply to you? In the last 14 days, you traveled outside of Canada and were told to quarantine to stay home when you got back, or you traveled outside of Canada and were told not to attend school or childcare, or someone you live with returned from outside Canada and is isolating, staying home, while waiting for COVID-19 test results. So in the last 14 days, if the answer to any of those is yes, you click yes. If you have not traveled anywhere, when someone you have lived with has not traveled anywhere and is isolating, then you select no. In the last five days, have you experienced any of these symptoms? So these symptoms right here, there's a whole list of 10 different symptoms. And those are the same symptoms that you'll see on our COVID visual chart. Fever and chills, cough, trouble breathing, decrease of loss or taste of smell, muscle aches, joint pain, extreme tiredness, sore throat or difficulty swallowing, runny nose or stuffy nose, headache or nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. If you choose yes for any of the ones on this list, you only need one of these in order to have to stay home and self-isolate for five days. If you have two or more symptoms of the ones on this list, then that means you need to self-isolate for five days. However, most importantly, do not go to school if you are sick with any symptoms. So if your child has is feeling extremely tired when they wake up in the morning or they have just a headache, they still do not come to school until their symptoms are improving for at least 24 hours, at least a full day. If they have nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea, then they are not to come to school until at least 48 hours, that's two full days of those symptoms being better. So if my daughter wakes up throwing up this morning, that means I need to wait at least two days until after she's feeling better before she can come to school. But if she had nausea and vomiting and a sore throat, because she has two of those, she needs to now self-isolate for five full days. Older students who are aged 12 and older who are not fully vaccinated must isolate for 10 days at home. Now, if my child has none of these symptoms, none of these symptoms at all, then I say none of the above and continue. In the last five days, have you tested positive for COVID-19? That includes a positive COVID-19 test result from a PCR test or a rapid antigen test like the ones we sent home from school or a home-based self-testing kit. If you say yes, they've tested positive, you'll have to stay home. If you say no, you're just gonna click no. Do any of the following apply? 
you live with someone who is currently isolating, staying home because of a, co a positive COVID-19 test, you live with someone who is currently isolating because of COVID-19 symptoms, you live with someone who is waiting for COVID-19 test results. If any of those apply, then you would click yes. Select no if those do not apply to you. Has a doctor, healthcare provider, or public health unit told you that you should currently be isolating, staying at home? Maybe that's because of outbreak or contract, contact tracing. If a doctor has not told you to stay at home, you click no. Have you been identified as a close contact of someone who currently has COVID-19 and has been advised to self-isolate? If no, then you say no. Right now it says, go to school or childcare. This is valid right now. Now, the only difference here is where, again, if my child did not have any of the symptoms on the screener, but she has something else, some other kind of illness going on that wasn't on the screener, I still need to keep her home today. Even if I got the green check mark, I need to keep her home if she is not well until her symptoms are improving for at least 24 hours for most symptoms and for at least 48 hours or two full days if it's something to do with her stomach, throwing up, nausea, diarrhea, that kind of thing. So just remember, your child can come to school if they have this check mark and they have no signs of illness at all. 